Well, welcome back to House of Hoon. On today's episode, I'm going to be 3D printing some custom tooling to create a dome out of flat sheet metal. Now let's jump into Fusion 360 and check out what's going on. All right, here we are back in Fusion 360 and this is what I've come up with. So we've obviously got a top die and a bottom die as usual. To achieve this dome, we'll hopefully just put a piece of sheet metal on top of the bottom die and literally just press the top die down into it, creating a dome. Trying to achieve a three inch dome. So what I've done is I've just done three inches from that side across all the way to that side. And obviously the same on the top die as well. So from that side across to that side. I've also put a cutout on the top side of the top die, just so that it can fit into my press in the workshop. I'm going to be printing out these pieces in PLA Plus, just like I did with my brake press tooling. And they will obviously be 100% solid to give them the most rigidity possible. I'll now get these printed and we'll head on over to the workshop. Alright, we're back in the workshop now. So this is the print and how it turned out. So I've got our top piece here. As you can see, it's got a nice little dome on it. Come out reasonably good. And the bottom piece. Now I've got this little ring around here, which is from when the filament jammed when I was trying to change over spools. But that shouldn't create an issue with this piece, which is what really matters. So I'll go ahead, whack this in the press, and we'll start bending some metal. start off with, I'm just going to be using this 1mm aluminium piece that I cut into a 4 inch round circle. So this is obviously a 3 inch diameter here, so I need a little bit more material than that. Um, I don't know exactly how much I need, but 4 inch should be enough. But that's why I'm using 1mm to start with, just to see whether this experiment even works. Well, there we have it. Here's the first piece that I pressed out. Now, as you can see, this piece actually folded, which isn't ideal. The rest of it actually came out really good. Um, you can see, hopefully you can see, got a little indentation from where the layer lines are, but that's really not an issue. So I'll now cut some two mil aluminum and we'll see how that goes, see if it goes any better than this. All right, test number two. As you saw, I just filed the edge off, got some more two mil alley plate. Let's see if it makes any difference. Hi, it's me again. Just quickly wanted to touch on the fact that I am actually lining these top and bottom dies up before I press the plate. I'm just not showing you on camera because it's boring. Uh, and then I am also trying to get this disc as centralized as possible on the dies. All right, damage report. Not really damaged because nothing actually broke, but it's actually come up better than the last one. So there's still two little imperfections. They're kind of almost opposite each other. Um, yeah, there's probably no chance of you seeing it on camera because I can only just see it with my eye. Um, you can feel it when you rub your finger over it though. Now I'm not actually sure whether the better pressing is from rounding the corners or whether it's just pot luck, I'm not too sure. Um, something that also popped into my mind was maybe the press isn't coming down 100% square or evenly, which might be some of the issue. Um, I did rotate the bottom die this time um, and yeah, it made a little bit of a difference. Um, but what I'm thinking I'll do now is instead of cutting this disc at four inches big, I'll probably try three and a half inches and we'll see whether having less material makes any difference or not. Attempt number three. Sad face. I don't think that has seemed to fix the problem. It seems to be exactly the same. It's not bad by any means. It's just not perfect. I'm starting to think I need to make a bigger bottom die 
because I'm thinking that might be why I'm having this issue. So I'll probably do one that's about three and a quarter inches wide. I don't think it's gonna make any difference, but we'll just see how we go. Might as well try it while we're here. So I was just looking at this a bit closer and I should have thought of this before now, but I didn't because I'm not smart. Uh, so where the main issues are with the plate coming bending in the most, it happens to be on the flat section of where I'm cutting in the guillotine. So that might also be an issue. So I'll get the hacksaw out and we'll cut a perfectly round circle and we'll see whether that eliminates it or not. So we'll, we'll stick with the three and a half inches and we'll see if that makes any difference. Attempt number four at two mil plate with a nice rounded edge. Well, I'm pleased to say, actually I don't really like it on this side of the camera. I'm pleased to say that this has actually come up better than the previous one with the completely rounded edge. Uh, there's definitely less severe deformation or deformation where the cuts were. So that's good news. Bad news is it's still creased in the same spots. Um, but yeah, I'm not exactly sure why that's happened. Like I was saying earlier, I have absolutely zero experience with designing press tooling or anything like that. If any of you have experience with doing press tooling like this uh, and you've got any useful advice or even any suggestions from any of you, uh, please drop a comment below. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Now, I was going to do another pressing at a three mil aluminium, um, which I'm sure this could take, but it's already starting to show some fatigue points. So it's got a few separate fatigue points. Uh, you can, hopefully you can tell if I put that up to the camera properly. Um, so you can see the white marks on the pink and those are the stress marks. So there's a few around. So this will still do a few more goes, but I don't want to destroy it yet because I still need to make a, another one of these. I probably can utilize the ones that I've already done. Uh, for my project, but I don't want to destroy this yet. Now, I don't actually know whether this wrinkling is actually avoidable or not. I'm thinking it probably isn't because you're trying to push a dome into a flat bit of plate. But yeah, what I am thinking is this: these dies need to be bigger than the actual piece that you need to make so that the wrinkling hopefully happens on the material that you won't end up be using. Either that, or this is just a completely stupid idea to be doing, but I'm full of stupid ideas and I'm happy to post them all on the internet for all of your enjoyment. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a comment in the comment section down below. Also, like I was saying earlier, if you've got any advice for me, I'd really appreciate it because I really would like to revisit this and see if we can make a better version of this. And also if you like this and you wanna see more 3D printing or fabrication or anything like that, Hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next one. Afterwards, I decided to cut a larger plate and give that a crack. It just so happened that this turned out to be the best one of them all.